Okay, so this is the last topic uh, regarding jQuery. And uh, so this is about themes. So we'll talk about how you can theme uh, jQuery UI. And uh, we are going to actually uh, pick and choose lots of themes, themes that are, that are already provided from a website called the Theme Roller. So, uh, uh, so we are going to actually choose a theme and use it. And uh, we can create our own custom theme from existing theme. And they will talk about the concept of uh, jQuery UI CSS framework. And then we are going to use styles from this framework in view pages. Theming jQuery UI. So all jQuery widgets, UI widgets are designed to allow a developer to seamlessly integrate them into a look and feel of the application. So basically what you want to do is, you know, you want all these widgets to kind of behave exactly the same, I mean seamlessly, with a uh, particular theme that you choose, right? Okay. Uh, what that means is that all this with what that means is that all these widgets have to follow uh, this, uh, you know, the uh, theme kind of convention uh, in the jQuery. Okay. Uh, so each widget is styled with CSS and contains two layers of style information. One is about the CSS framework styles, and then the other one is a plugin plugin specific styles. So all widgets actually provide the the uh, the uh, same uh, the uh, uh, styles based on this jQuery UI CSS framework, okay? and that is important. The separation of this framework CSS styles from the plugin specific uh, you know style is important because uh, you know when you change your theme, that should be applied to all plugins, right? All widgets, okay. Uh, so having a separation of these two is making it uh, the applying uh, the particular theme to all widgets actually making a lot easier to do. Okay, so approaches to theming uh, UI plugins or UI widgets. Okay, so when I use the term plugin in this case, I'm also uh, in using it in in interchangeably with the widget. Okay, uh, let's see. So select and use a theme from a gallery of ready-to-use uh, themes. So we're going to actually uh, use it from theme roller site. You know, we're going to actually do hands-on lab with that. And create a custom theme from existing home, uh, existing theme. And then we can uh, the, uh, uh, use styles from the framework in the view pages. Okay? So uh, let's try the first uh, thing to do. Uh, okay, so select and use a theme. So the theme roller site provides a bunch of uh, themes that you can use right away. Okay, so if you actually click this website, and uh, you are going to see a bunch of uh, themes that you can use. Okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, so I select uh, themes here. Okay, let me just expand this guy. Yeah, this is something you're going to do in the hands on lab. Okay, so um, if you click gallery, okay, and then we have a bunch of themes base, UI lightness, and UI darkness, and uh, you know, the flick, and uh, dark hive. This one is blitzer. And uh, excite bike. Okay, so uh, you can actually use any of these themes for your application. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, the providing a link to that theme CSS file. Okay, so you can select and use a theme from a gallery of ready-to-use themes from this site, uh, either in the form of CDN or you can download the theme uh, and then you can access it uh, locally. Uh, we're going to try both. Okay. okay, so it has a bunch of uh, themes that you can use. Uh, UI lightness, darkness, smoothness, dart, and all those things. Okay. All right. Now, as I said, usage of a particular theme is very, very simple. In this case, we are using that start theme. So start is one of the uh, one of the themes that is provided. And basically, in order to use your theme, only thing you have to do is just provide that theme-based uh, jQuery UI CSS file. That's it. 
Now you are using this theme, you're basically using start theme. If you want to use a different theme, you just change the name of it. Okay? All right. All right, so that is our exercise one. So let's try exercise one. Okay. So exercise one, we're going to play around with the theme roller site. So here you go to the theme roller site as I showed you. And uh, then, uh, you know, you are going to, so let's open uh, our sample application. And then we are going to change a different theme. Okay. So let's open the directory of the Enzone Lab. And uh, it's going to be... Actually, I should go to labs, labs, and uh, plug in UI themes, samples. Okay, so we're going to actually this one. So for now, it's using based theme. Okay, so let's see what it displayed. Okay, so this is the um, uh, same application we have seen before. It is basically applying the uh, display this uh, button things to uh, button element, submit button, and anchor. So base theme does not actually handle uh, styling of this anchor. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this base theme uh, to something else. Okay. So we're going to actually change it to start. Let's start with, uh, let's use the start theme. Okay. So save the change. Now refresh the page. And basically you can see now it's actually using a start theme. Okay. And now let's actually use uh, uh, the left frog theme. So it's basically L E F O F frog. L E uh, so L E L E. Okay, save the change, and it's using a different theme. Okay. All right, and uh, you can actually observe, you know, what actually make up those things. Okay, so let's actually open. Uh, develop a tool, okay, and uh, select the element, and uh, so basically, you know, you can see what is the, uh, you can see what is the, uh, uh, the styling that is using, you know, button UI, button, button widget, you know, those are all the styles that are applied, okay, all right, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, the um, uh, we're gonna actually try another one. So this is the uh, yeah, this is accordion. So open uh, CDN two. Uh, so this one is uh, using uh, UI lightness. Okay, so that's all right. So let's try to use the UI lightness. Okay, so this is the accordion, right? Okay. Now you can certainly change uh, the uh, individually uh, the style. So in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to change the body. We are going to change the font size. So we're going to actually use the font size of 50%. Okay. So I am going to add this uh, the uh, style. So we're going to apply to the body. All right. So here I'm going to just add like this. Okay. And save the change. And you can see, uh, you know, the, the font size is now uh, reduced by 50%. Okay, so this just demonstrates that uh, you can certainly apply individual styling, overriding uh, the styles that come from uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, theme styling. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna actually let you try uh, different themes. Okay, so you know, just go to the website and then try to see. Uh, you know whether you can apply those themes. Uh, you at US UI lightness, UI darkness, uh, flicker, whatever. You know, try a few themes and see whether you can get the sense of it. Okay, so I'll give you guys about the uh, uh, about a few minutes to try the uh, this exercise. I'll give you five minutes. Okay, so we are going to now create a custom theme from existing theme. So in exercise one, we just use the existing theme, right? But, uh, you know, we want to create our own theme, uh, just kind of modifying a little bit of the existing theme. So how to do, how, you, how to use a theme from theme controller. So you can create a new theme by making small changes to existing theme as a starting point. Okay, so, you know, obviously you don't need to create uh, a theme from scratch. 
Uh, and uh, experience in CSS, CSS is not really required. As you are going to see, you know, the tweaking is very simple. You know, you can actually do that in the graphical fashion, uh, in the graphical UI. It allows you to view changes to existing themes and widgets on the fly from theme roller. So you can actually pick and choose the one you want by seeing the actually changed theme first. Okay. All right, let's talk about the jQuery UI CSS framework first. So what is a jQuery UI CSS framework? It basically includes all styles uh, that cover a wide array of common user interface needs. Okay? Uh, for example, you can use these classes, these styles, to indicate the role of an element within a widget such as a header, content area, and clickable region. So you know, you came up with this framework for handling like a header region, content region, and the clickable region. Okay, uh, and these are applied consistently across all widgets. If you think about it, pretty much you know a lot of most of the widgets actually have common uh, things like header, content area, and clickable region. So uh, basically, having a consistent uh, styling for this kind of behavior, uh, the uh, regardless of the widget, uh, you know, is in fact a good thing to have. Okay, so. Uh, you know, so clickable, tab, accordion, or button will have the same state default class applied to indicate that it is clickable. So what you want to do is that, you know, regardless of the widget, you want to have the same styling to be applied uh, if uh, style applied indicating that that particular, uh, you know, area is in fact clickable, okay? And the same thing with hover and active. If you choose a particular, uh, you know, tab, for example, uh, the, uh, the, uh, or if you have a multiple buttons and if you select a button and that is considered as an active button or active tab, right? So you want to apply the same consistent, uh, the styling to an active item or something like that, okay? Uh, same thing with the hover. So when you hover any uh, widget, you want to have the same styling to be applied, right? So this is basically what jQuery UI CSS framework provides. It provides a consistent of consistent way of uh, applying uh, consistent actually styling to these behaviors. Okay, uh, and uh, it can be manipulated using jQuery UI theme roller. So you can actually pick and choose the behavior you want, like a color, you know, whatever, you know, the uh, the uh, the texture and stuff like that. And these styles are already applied to in the ready to use themes. So the reason we want to use this uh, jQuery, jQuery UI CSS framework is that it provides a shared markup conventions uh, regardless of the widget, uh, which allows for easier of code integration across plugin community at large. So you as a plugin vendor or you as a plugin developer really do not have to deal with this uh, styling anymore because this framework, CSS framework from jQuery UI community already has done a lot of things for you. Okay. So using common set of classes make it easy to ensure that all elements with it with a similar role, like a hovering or active item or in a deselected item, uh, or interaction state will look the same across all widgets. Okay. So this uh, plugin developers or widget developers can leverage jQuery uh, UI CSS framework because it will make it much easier for end users to theme to theme and use your plugin. Okay, all right, so this is in fact a good thing. Okay, so framework style versus plugin style. So, as I said before, in jQuery UI, there is a two different layers one is the uh, framework layer uh, styling, and uh, then plugin layer styling. So, framework layer styling applies to all widgets. And then, if you want to apply plugin-specific styling, you can certainly do. This. You can certainly to do that. Okay. So CSS framework styles uh, include all the uh, attributes and uh, you know the styles basically. Uh, uh, you know the uh, the uh, um, across the plugin. So they are maintained in this file, jQuery UI theme.css file. Okay. Uh, the plugin specific style is also applied. Uh, it also uh, those are captured in jQuery UI CSS file. So this is a theme layer uh, CSS filing, and this one is the uh, plugin uh, layer uh, styling. Okay. So again, the separation of the CSS styling versus a plugin style is in fact a good thing. Okay. 
because uh, they are not, you know, they are interfering each other. Okay, so let's do exercise two. So here we are going to create a brand new theme from an existing theme, okay? And then we'll use it. All right, so let's do exercise two. Okay, so again, you go to theme roller. And uh, then select uh, gallery, okay? And uh, then uh, you can choose any of the uh, uh, any of the themes. So I'm going to choose sunny. So in order to uh, modify whatever uh, the uh, theme, you just click uh, the uh, uh, edit. Okay. So this is edit. So I'm going to click edit. And uh, then you can actually pick and choose the style you want. So this is what I mean by you know the uh, you don't have to actually really understand CSS. You just basically choose this guy. Okay. Uh, so uh, the things, yeah, so let me just increase the font size so that you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to actually change maybe, yeah, let's change the font size. The default font is, uh, weight is, uh, default font size is 1.1, uh, so I'm going to actually make it 1.5, okay? And corner, so you can see it changed, right? The corner radius. Corner radius right now is 8 pixels. So this is, you know, 8 pixels. I'm going to change it to 20. 20. Okay. All right. So now it's actually changed. Uh, it's uh, it changed. And uh, let's actually take a look at header and taskbar. And uh, now this is a background color and texture. So like this one, right? Uh, so I want to change uh, texture to something different, maybe like this. Okay, so this is the texture I want to use, and uh, maybe I want to actually change the percentage to uh, ninety percent. Okay, like this. All right. Uh, okay, so you know now I am ready to use this theme. Okay, so basically what you are going to do at this point is you are going to download the theme. All right. So you click download the theme. And uh, you can actually choose a CSS version, uh, framework version. I'm going to just choose the default, 1.11.4. Okay. And uh, in fact, here you can pick and choose a lot of uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, CSS styles. Okay. Uh, in some cases, you don't need all these uh, styles, right? Okay. Uh, and in that case, you can just deselect. Okay. Maybe I don't care about the explode effect, right? Okay. And uh, then uh, I can actually download it. Okay. The scope is uh, the scope is uh, this is actually giving you explanation. This field allows you to specify a CSS scope to limit your theme to a particular portion of the page. Okay. So instead of uh, applying to all uh, the uh, the widget in your page, you can actually apply to a portion of the page. Okay. So we are not going to actually deal with it. Okay. So I'm going to just download it. So it is going to download uh, into, uh, it's going to create that theme file first, okay? And then it let me download this guy, all right? So I'm going to, uh, let me just create a directory. So uh, I'll make a directory, maybe theme, okay? So I'm going to go to, yeah, so theme. So there's nothing right now. So I want to copy this guy into, uh, under that theme directory. So go to C and uh, go to themes and I am going to save that zip file. It is a zip file. So now let's um, so the zip file uh, is uh, provided so let's actually unzip it. So I'm going to just use a jar command. You can use uh, any unzip utility of your choice. I'm going to unzip it. And it will create this directory a jQuery UI 1.11.4 custom. Okay, so if you take a look at the uh, that directory, okay, oops, oops. Uh, it basically uh, has index.html file and the CSS file uh, and the CSS theme file, and this one is a minimized version. Okay, so this one contains styles, you know, of the uh, theme layer. So that's the layer one. Okay. And this guy actually contains uh, the uh, styles of the uh, widgets. Okay, so let's actually take a look at the uh, these guys using brackets. So I'm going to uh, open that directory, open folder, and I'm gonna go to that themes. 
and uh, this is the directory all right so as you can see uh, that th this is the themes uh, it actually contains all the consistent uh, the uh, the uh, the theme uh, theme layer uh, styling okay so like a widget header and a widget default widget hover and these are all applied to all widgets okay like this this is uh, th this theme layer styling could be applied to all widgets, right? Okay, uh, and you can see uh, the corner in a UI corner has been changed to 20, right? Okay, and this jQuery UI, this one, this one, this one is the one that contains uh, the uh, uh, um, plugin specific uh, stylings like a date picker uh, or uh, let's say. Uh, tabs or you know the dialogue okay okay so this is a separation I'm talking about this one contains uh, theme layer styling this one contains uh, plugin layer styling this guy okay and uh, all right so that is basically the lab documentation I think uh, uh, I was actually showing you okay let me just open the lab documentation one more time So that is exercise two. So um, uh, so we just did uh, we just edited and then we download it. Okay, yeah, we edit it and we download it and then we unzip it and then we study the CSS style. So this is a theme level uh, styling and this is the uh, uh, widget level styling and uh, as you can certainly you know search for button uh, the style. On, in this file and uh, you can take a look at maybe tab okay on styling okay uh, you can certainly change these files because these are now locally available right okay all right so now what we are going to do is we can take a look at the index.html file again index.html file is also provided so this is an example where uh, this guy is actually where is actually using uh, this uh, the theme that you have used uh, you have you know created uh, it jQuery UI CSS Okay, so let's see whether it has any okay something to display. Okay, so let's uh, open it. Okay, so as you can see, it has the twenty uh, pixel uh, the uh, corner radius, and the font size is uh, one point five, and uh, then you can see the uh, tab header is actually something you know that I chose, right? Okay. All right, so uh, basically, by using that the uh, you know by using that uh, CSS file, uh, you know you, you you can actually apply uh, the uh, that theme to your application. Okay. All right, so I am going to let you use uh, let's do the, this lab exercise two. I'll give you maybe uh, ten to fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, the next thing you might want to do is use styles from the jQuery UI CSS framework. Okay, uh, so the CSS framework uh, it provides uh, styles for layout helpers, widget containers, interaction states, interaction queues, icons, and other visuals, uh, corner radius helpers, and overlay and shadow and things like that. So if you actually take a look at the uh, output from index.html file that we have uh, run in exercise two, you can see it actually, you know, the uh, this is hovering. Whenever item is hovered, okay, uh, it actually change the style, right? So this is hovering. If you select an item, and uh, it also give the indication by providing a different style, indicating this is in fact selected right okay so regardless of the widget regardless of you know whether it is in fact a button or a tab it actually behave exactly the same right like uh, this hovering and the selection they all work in the same okay all right uh, it's actually using white color and uh, the uh, this one yeah hovering is yeah so uh, the uh, the CSS style actually provides. If you remember, if you remember this uh, jQuery UI CSS, you know this is basically. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. This is UI theme. 
Okay. Uh, this is the uh, style uh, file, uh, theme style file that actually provides all those uh, common, common uh, the uh, behavior. Okay. Uh, it's common styling, I would say. Okay. All right. So that's what we are talking about here. So these are some of the uh, classes that you will find in this file. Okay. So for example, uh, UI widget. Uh, so uh, let me actually search for. Uh, yeah. So let me actually try UI widget header. UI widget. Header. Okay. So header is uh, any widget, regardless of the widget, the header is going to be this border, background, and color, and things like that. Okay. So UI widget class to be applied to all outer container of all widgets applies font family and font size to widgets. Now this is a header class, a header class. So class to be applied to header containers, right? Regardless of the uh, widget. Uh, applies header container styles to elements and its child text links and icons. Uh, this is a content. So this is header styling and this is the uh, content styling. And so if you see, this is the uh, tab, right? So this is the header styling and this is a content styling. Okay. And again, same style will be applied to other widgets as well. So these are, uh, in, yeah. So those are, you know, those are. Let's say is uh, with a container, uh, container, uh, the with a container uh, styles. And now we're gonna actually take a look at interaction states uh, styles. So interaction styles is again when you click a uh, hover. Uh, active is when you select an item. You know that's when uh, the uh, this style will be applied. When you hover, this style will be applied. The focus uh, class to be applied on keyboard focus. Or clickable button like elements, and this is the default. Okay, that gets applied. So all these uh, the uh, CSS CSS styles, uh, these are related to in interaction states, and they are consistently applied to all widgets. Okay, so this is the active. Yeah, so this is an example. So this is active. This is the default, and this is hover. Okay. And uh, you know, so when you do hover, uh, basically it adds hover class, and then uh, the uh, uh, let's see, add class. Oh, okay, so it does have a add class and the remove class. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so let's actually do exercise three. So here we are going to, in fact, uh, play around with this uh, the uh, CSS styles. Okay, so go to exercise three. Everyone can hear me okay, right? Uh, Ace mentioned that he's having a problem of listening to me. Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Okay, good, excellent. All right, so uh, the uh, we so styles from widget container. So we're gonna try with the widget container styles, interaction interactions uh, styles, and interaction queue styles. And you can also try other other styles as well. So uh, let's actually create the view one container.html file uh, under this directory, the custom directory that we are looking at. So control N and uh, let's create this file. So I'm going to just copy this code and, uh, you know, and then I'm going to save it. Control S and uh, I'd like to save it here. OK, so the name of the uh, file I want to use is uh, view one containerhtml Okay, like this. Okay, so here, uh, you know, we uh, we imported this UI class, okay, and which actually import the uh, theme class uh, internally, okay, and uh, then we are using you know UI widget that gets applied to all the uh, widget, and then uh, we have uh, we are applying to header uh, for this guy and for content. For this guy, and then uh, it's actually a content as well as corner bottom uh, uh, style. Okay, so let's actually run this guy. Okay, so this is what you are seeing. Okay, this is UI widget header container, uh, and this is the uh, content content. Okay, and uh, if you want to apply uh, the header, so for uh, for this one as well, then you can just just change it, okay, and save it, 
and then refresh and that is what you're going to see okay all right so you can basically use uh, these uh, pre-provided uh, the styles from the theme uh, styling file okay all right so that is uh, the first container based one so this is what we have uh, so and then the other one is the uh, interaction so I'm gonna create another file so content n and then save copy this guy here and just save it and I'll just say junk HTML because I don't care about the name Okay, and then if you uh, view it, then uh, now we should be able to, yeah, so, you know, this is the, uh, this is the uh, selected item, and this is not selected, okay? The hovering is not actually added, so that's actually an exercise I'm going to actually ask you to do. Uh, try to add hovering here. Now, if I select this guy, oops, oh, why it doesn't work? Hmm, interesting. Uh, so, oh, I have to modify it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so when it is selected, right? Uh, okay, so this is hovering. Um, okay, so let's actually add this code. So in this case, we, when uh, the uh, any item with this default and any anchor uh, the uh, is hovered we want to uh, invoke this function this function is basically we are adding uh, active and uh, and then uh, when it's moved out you know so this is this is this this is the uh, something that will be uh, uh, invoked when it is hovered and if it is not hovered then this is going to be uh, invoked and this is basically adding uh, removing this active class when it's hovered we're adding active class when it's not hovered it's gonna actually remove it okay so let's copy this code okay so let's uh, add this guy uh, script yeah we need to yeah so we need to add complete script here yeah you can just any place okay and uh, and uh, let's save it Control S. Okay, so refresh the page. Now, oh, why is not working? Yeah, so hovering doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so that is interesting. View the video. Observe that when you hover over a text, the uh, element becomes active. Oh, I have to hover on the text. Ah, doesn't work. Okay, so I have, we have to figure out why that is the case. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let you actually <laughs> try it and you know to find out why it doesn't work. I'll do the same thing. The next one is interaction cues. Okay, so here uh, we are going to uh, have another file. So let's create the uh, uh, another file. Control N, and we'll just have this guy, and uh, let's save it, and we'll save it as view04 cues HTML. Okay, now let's do this. Okay, so now view the page with the browser. Oh, this one doesn't work either. Hey, what is going on? So we are in the right directory, right? Yeah, so in the custom uh, and uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, so this is wrong. Yeah, so yes. The code is not correct. Okay, so this one, yeah, looks like uh, I have a wrong documentation. Okay, so I have to, yeah. So the 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 location of the file is incorrect. So it has to be, uh, yeah. I have to update documents, and it's actually one one four and one eleven four. That is the file, right? 
uh, is uh, jQuery UI uh, the oh what am I talking about yeah so the file is in fact jQuery uh, UI class jQuery UI CSS file okay so that should be the one all right so now refresh it okay now that works okay yeah okay okay now I'm gonna to try the junk as well I think this is actually also uh, oh that's correct this one is actually jQuery UIC and this one oh yeah so this one somehow uh, this somehow uh, this is not uh, this is not working okay all right so this one worked at least Okay, so I'm gonna let you do this exercise. Uh, right now is the 12:15, uh, and uh, let's have uh, the 30 minutes uh, lunch time, and I'll give you uh, 10 minutes uh, to this uh, lab. So we will be back. Uh, yeah, we'll be back at one. Okay. All right. Let me just. Uh,